When America's first satellite, Explorer 1, launched more than three decades ago, it discovered the Van Allen radiation belts that surround the Earth. And ever since, radiation has caused more than a few problems for the satellites that have followed. They fail from uh, radiation. Uh, it's one of the primary uh, failures we have. We have a lot of problems uh, in having to go back and, and uh, reprogram spacecraft because of the radiation hits. Now, this spacecraft, called the Combined Release and Radiation Effects Satellite, or CRESS, will help remap the radiation belts and... By using that, we can determine what types of, ra of, of radiation protection need to be put on future spacecraft. Future spacecraft will also benefit from new solar power panels being tested aboard CRESS. Standard panels like these, which will actually power the CRESS satellite, could someday be replaced by panels like this, which are doubly efficient. CRESS will also light up the sky with a year-long series of experiments that will focus in on energy generated by solar storms, energy that can disrupt radio transmissions and power supplies here on Earth. Flying in egg-shaped orbit, CRESS will release chemical tracers into both the ionosphere and the magnetosphere. It will be like painting magnetic field lines in space so that they're visible from the ground. These will be closely examined using ground-based telescopes and special aircraft. And one of the aims of CRESS is to do specific experiments in the space surrounding Earth to study how these disturbances propagate, how they grow and decay, with an idea toward being able to predict in the future when these disturbances will occur and how large they will be. CRESS is a joint NASA and Air Force project. It's managed for NASA by the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama. An Atlas Centaur rocket will launch CRESS with its 20 scientific instruments and 24 canisters filled with chemical tracers. Just as its ancestor, Explorer 1, did many years ago, CRESS will blaze a new trail that's sure to help clear the way for space flights to follow. In Huntsville, this is Mike Arrington reporting.